All right, welcome back to the channel. So, okay, the rumor mill hits, and I think there may be a problem. Manny Pacquiao might pull out of the Errol Spence Jr. fight after Errol Spence Jr. insists on the enforcement of Olympic-style drug testing, or at least his team does. Let's talk about that in this video. Right, welcome back to the channel. So, man, we got a lot of drama in the welterweight division. Errol Spence Jr. and Manny Pacquiao are supposed to be fighting. And as we know, that is a big deal, a big fight. Errol Spence Jr. is a huge star in the sport of boxing. The biggest up-and-coming star in boxing, in my opinion. I think Errol, Deontay Wilder is already established. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to lay aside all that stuff that's going on in the heavyweight division because really that is just nothing, in my opinion, but a way to distract people and claim guys that are not very good fighters are better than Deontay Wilder. Bunch of cheating, a bunch of stuff, lying about the numbers. Oh, I could go on and on and on about the about the about the scam that the that that the media is putting over on boxing fans as it relates to Deontay Wilder. But while we're in the middle of this 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 scam where they're trying to convince you that Deontay Wilder is not an extremely well-known and extremely well an extremely popular fighter. Errol Spence Jr., they're doing the same thing to him. But, you know, you know, they say women lie, men lie, but numbers don't lie. Errol Spence Jr., other than Deontay Wilder, has pulled in more money in pay-per-views and other fights than any other fight in fighter in boxing over the last three years. Without a doubt, more money than all of them. If you're talking about pay-per-view buys and all of that, Errol Spence Jr. and the ticket sales in Dallas Stadium, Errol Spence Jr., other than Canelo Alvarez, has been rising like that. Then you also have Manny Pacquiao, who is also clearly a well-established, in many people's mind, all-star, you know, all-time great, right? Having this fight. And if, right, Errol Spence Jr. wins the fight, Errol becomes this huge star because he beat Manny Pacquiao, right? Presumably. Because who knows what these media guys will do. They'll swear like, you know, Andre Ward was supposed to take off to the moon after he beat Kovalev. But they didn't want Andre Ward to beat Kovalev, so, you know, Andre Ward gets nothing, right? It was supposed to be a fight for pound for pound, number one. But then when Deont when, when uh, Andre Ward win wins it, you know, that subject somehow just disappears from the, from the lips of the media. So if Arrow beats Manny, in my mind, I'll be saying, yeah, he'll be the biggest star in boxing. I guarantee you the media that is paid by Bob Arum will not see it that way. Anyway, Arrow is, though, however taking this fight from my understanding and I'm not talking to Errol Spence Jr. I'm not talking to Errol Spence Sr. I'm not talking to Derek James. I'm not talking to any of these people. I am talking to people established in networks that are talking about the negotiation and know things that are going on that one party may know, the other party may not know. Okay? <laughs> you have, And one of the things that they are not, that is going around, my understanding is, is that the, there is still a hurdle to that fight. And the hurdle to the fight is the drug testing. Errol Spence Jr. or their team want drug testing. They want, my understanding is, I could be wrong on this point, but they want Olympic style drug testing. They want blood and urine and they want that fight and they want him tested well before the start of the training camp. And he wants, they, and they want him train, they want him tested throughout the training camp and after the training camp. Because there, because many people, and this is just logical say, hey man, how does a guy that started who's basically a 126 pounder run around with an extra 20 pounds of muscle on him, knocking people out, he's 42 and he's still not getting tired. And to boot, he's not getting drug tested. The rumor is, and this is again, I'm telling you the rumors, the rumor is that Mike Manny Pacquiao did not get have any drug testing for Keith Thurman and that was negotiated in the contract that he was not gonna have drug testing. And the reason why my understanding is that he says that he doesn't want the drug testing is because he's a senator and he cannot right there be followed around as a senator by drug testers, right? Because if you're a, if you're a sitting senator, your, lo your actual location is a security issue. So he is a U.S. is a is a Philippine senator. If he is on like a diplomatic trip somewhere in Asia for the Philippines, they're not going to allow a drug tester to follow him around and take his blood. So Manny has a national security excuse for not having drug for not having number one, having needles put in his body. 
because as a as a senator, you have to approve. You're, you have to take a needle to get blood to take that out, right? So who is going to do that to a reigning a reigning senator in the U.S.? Right? Just think about it in common sense terms. If you have somebody like Cory Booker, who is a U.S. sitting U.S. senator, and he is a boxer at the same time, which in the United States would be absolutely unheard of. However, it would create, if he was a boxer, all kind of issues with his personal information. Right? His blood, you can't take his blood because if you take his blood, then you can do all kind of stuff with his blood. Right? You can plant it here. You can do that with it. You can, you can frame him. People are very, very concerned about what happens with politicians and their personal information. Also, you're not going to be able to follow him around because what if he is with somebody that may be the Pope, right? If he is sitting talking to the Pope, you're not going to be able to come in there and test him, right? He's going to be like, no, I'm not going to be able to be tested. And then he will tell you what he would tell you what time and where he'll be able to do it. And quite honestly, if he's not able to do it, he will send his blood to you, right? Because his argument is, I'm a U.S. senator. I'm just extrapolating from what a regular U.S. citizen would, a regular U.S. senator would do. When you have like Cory Booker or you have, take Kamala Harris, who was a U.S. senator, you cannot drug test her. You cannot follow, that isn't, she is a, she in and of herself is, her information is classified. Where she lives is classified. If she gets a cold, it's classified. Same thing with a senator. If a senator has cancer, they're not going to tell the general public that that senator has cancer. They're just not going to do it. Before his own personal safety, for the security of the votes and everything he's trying to do, they're not going to alarm people. And they're definitely not going to give you ready access to wherever he is whenever you want. So, so my understanding is Manny Pacquiao hides behind that and says, I will send you my blood. I will do this. But the other people know I'm not willing to do that because how do I know you're not sending me somebody else's blood? So the fact that, and this is a reasonable issue for Manny Pacquiao's personal security and Errol Spence Jr.'s team. I don't know if this is Errol Spence Jr. himself, right? I don't know if this is the testing because these things tend to be very secure, right? But they're saying, look, man, we can't even tell Errol that he can't be drug tested. Because that's a national security. We can't let people know the protocols of our security. We can't. So for his safety, Arrow can't even know where he is at any particular time. Because again, that is a national, international security issue between the Philippines and the US. It's a very complicated situation. The truth of the matter is that if, that if, if, if Manny Pacquiao wants to fight, Manny Pacquiao needs to quit the Senate. Because if you quit the Senate, then Errol doesn't have any, it, it doesn't have any issues about knowing that it's actually your blood being tested and not somebody else's blood being tested, right? And that's a reasonable thing when you see guys having fight after fight after fight with no blood tests. And people are asking, well, why doesn't he have a blood test? He can't have a blood test because he's a national security. He is gonna be running for president of the Philippines. He absolutely has a ton of security protocols around him that do not apply to normal people. And that are, by the way, not the, even the information about the protocol is, na is a top-notch national security. So that is, in essence, the problem with the Manny Pacquiao fight. Errol Spence Jr. can fight Manny Pacquiao without a doubt. He can beat Manny Pacquiao, but he has no visibility whatsoever into any of the information around Manny Pacquiao on a day-to-day -day basis. To follow and know what Manny Pacquiao was doing in the preparation for a fight would be akin to knowing where, where um, who was a, it was a center, Ted Cruz. Knowing where Ted Cruz is, if he catches a cold, what food he's eaten, all of that. What the name of his secretary is, what the name of, they're not gonna know it because it is a national security issue. So from my understanding, the people on, the people that are concerned for Errol Spence Jr. are saying, we don't care if you announce this fight, Al Heyman. We don't care if you put it on the schedule. If Manny Pacquiao is not tested, the fight is not happening, period. Because there's too many gambling issues around what happened with Tyson Fury. If Manny Pacquiao does not take Olympic drug style, Olympic style drug testing, then that fight is gonna be off. Because you're not going to, if you have a national security issue, 
and knowing what Manny Pacquiao's, even his blood type is like, right, is what you would argue. You can't know his blood type. You can't know what hospital he was in when he did it. Because when he goes to the hospital, trust me, they got security there hours before he gets there, clearing everybody out. The tester has to get through his security. No way. So that is a problem for the people that are saying, look, man, we're in a big RICO negotiation. We're in a RICO investigation. I, I did a video before. I'm telling you, they're in a RICO uh, investigation. And a RICO investigation is everybody. Terrence, Cr uh, Errol Spence Jr., excuse me, Manny Pacquiao, if he tries to get into that fight without any, uh, any drug testing, I'm telling you, my understanding is that that is a part of that, in that, is a part of that investigation. And, and they're not playing with it. They want all of the information. So if they are doing that investigation, and I'm telling you, this is the problem. I'm telling you as a lawyer, and this is just me here just putting dots together. If, if the Justice Department has a RICO investigation on Bob Arum and Top Rank, right, or the PBC and Al Heyman, they're going to be looking at every business transaction those guys have. And if they need, if they're doing business overseas, then that connects the Filipino government to a RICO investigation in the United States. And I promise you, that is going to, that would be ugly. People don't like those type of, don't like those type of investigations to leave the country. So I would be, if I was Manny Pacquiao, I would find a way to make sure that I am tested. And I, those testing protocols are kept, that you're not falsifying information, because they will do that. To hide where he is under security reasons, they will falsify a bunch of information for national security reasons. It is called deflection for propaganda to deflection, whatever. They'll say he's in China. He won't be in China. He'll be in L.A. They'll say he has a cold. He won't have a cold. He would have tested positive for steroids because if he posit if he tested for positive for steroids, that's a national security issue. It is. So even the re revelation of his positive tests will be redacted by the Filipino government because he is an actual sitting senator. And with that, you have a tremendous conflict of interest. So since you have a tremendous conflict of interest, the very least you could do is, a, is guarantee to this man that you're not coming in there loaded up with steroids. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.